All right, I'm standing here with Colonel Bishop. It's like an annual tradition that you yeah, and I talk. We're back again after a year, and, you know, we're warmer this time, too, which is very nice. Absolutely. I mean, we've dodged a lot of bullets with the weather, but let me ask you because I know um, you're kind of in charge of some of the things that we're going to see from a military standpoint. Uh, can you give us a little tease about what's going to happen today? You know, you're going to see the largest plane in the U.S. military flying overhead, and it just looks like a... a, a town almost flying over. It can carry 135 tons. Um, this is the workhorse. This is the one that goes over regularly to uh, deliver goods and troops to Afghanistan, to all, the, uh, all over the world, really. Now, I know, too, from a perspective of pulling this type of event off and, you know, my experience when I went up in the F-15 a couple of weeks oh, ago. You're making me jealous. I, yeah, what, what can I say? But, you know, um, I know what goes into coordinating something like this between airspace restrictions and everything else. You know, tell the public it's not, a, a, you know, a little bit about how that works. I think people think you get in a plane, you fly over, you go back, and that's that. But it's a lot to it, isn't there? Well, you know, the planning for this started in January on the uh, committee's side. They, they applied for the FAA uh, allowances. They, they got it. And now even uh, this morning, of course, people were at work really early getting this plane off. It's a, it's a huge plane. It's got five miles, for example, of hydraulic tubing, just hydraulic tubing. Um, the, the paint on it weighs over a ton, you know, and so you've got maintenance people getting it ready. And of course, the pilots, the, the flight crew will be coming out. So it, it is a team effort. It really is. And of course, it's indicative of the team effort of the larger military as well. Well, in an event like this, certainly it gives you folks the opportunity to show off some of the stuff that you're most proud of and the work that you do every day. Um, is this a fun thing for you or is it still, you know, business as usual or what? You know, somebody introduced themselves in, in a speech by saying it is both a pressure and a privilege and it is both a pressure and a privilege but it's it is it, it, it's a lot of fun it's it's fun to be here it's fun to see the crowd it's fun to to get seen too because these are the folks who will go into Afghanistan at midnight when nobody's around and there's a stance sandstorm and deliver goods and get out quickly and so it, it is good to have you know upwards of 200,000 people see what they do um, the parade obviously has a huge emphasis on the military and all branches of the military and I don't know if you had a chance to check out some of the encampments and stuff but um, you know as military personnel what does that mean to you I mean do you find this to be sort of a you know a, a cool um, opportunity for the public to get a little insight or or to see just at least from a historic perspective uh, what the military is like? You know, it, it's good to go back to our roots and, and to see, you know, we, we started as explorers and then we started in the revolution and now, you know, we, we see this where people want freedom, people want to be free. And so it, it's a good reminder because sometimes we get lost in the busyness and it's good to step back. It's good for us too because we get lost in the busyness as well. And so, you know, just a reminder, we started in this search for freedom. All right, Colonel Bishop, before, last last thing that I'll ask is um, what your Thanksgiving plans are. I mean, this is a week before Thanksgiving, a few days before Thanksgiving. Um, you know, you have any special plans with uh, with the family, or what are you doing? You know, we're going to have 17 people around the table. We, I, I was away, I was in Colorado for seven years on an activation, and so it's nice to be back in New England home and so we're gonna have 17 family members gather in a mess hall or in a, at an actual dining room at, at the house kind of spilling out over into the hallway wow that's it that's a Thanksgiving dinner that takes military uh, precision to pull off but that's great Colonel Bishop I hope to see you here why don't we we'll, we'll make a date next year same sure. time same place okay. happy Thanksgiving to you and your family and, and to you all your well. uh, you know all the people you serve with. well thank you thank you, thank you so much Colonel